My dear students, welcome to Easy BTEC, your guide for BTEC and BN. We are discussing about signals and systems subject, and today's topic Laplace transform, very very important topic. Before going to our topic, all of you please subscribe, share the channel. Let's start our session Laplace transform. Okay, first we discuss formula of Laplace transform or definition of Laplace transform. So how it is defined from Fourier transform? We know that we know that Fourier transform of a continuous time signal x of t. Fourier transform of continuous time signal x of t of continuous time signal x of t is So what is the Fourier transform of continuous time signal x of t? So Fourier transform of x of t is x of omega capital X of omega or also we can represent capital X of j omega. So Fourier transform of x of t we can write capital X omega or capital X j omega which is equal to integral minus infinite plus infinite x of t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. This is a Fourier transform. Now in the place of j omega, I am going to replace. So j omega is going to replace sigma plus j omega. Sigma plus j omega, which is the complex variable s. What is s called here? complex variable that has real part and imaginary part. So in the place of j omega we are going to write sigma plus j omega. Then what happens? x of capital X of sigma plus j omega sigma plus j omega is equal to, is equal to integral minus infinite to plus infinite x of t into e to the power here we have minus j omega is there in the place of j omega we are going to write sigma plus j omega right dt sigma plus j omega dt so now in the place of sigma plus j omega we are going to write complex variable s so in the next step capital x of s is equal to integral minus infinite plus infinite x of t into e to the power minus st dt. So this formula x of s is called Laplace transform of continuous time signal x of t. This is called as Laplace transform of x of t. Right? Laplace transform of x of t. this formula or this integral is Laplace transform of x of t. Okay. So now <coughs> here s is sigma plus j omega it is a complex variable so in the place of s sigma plus j omega. So this I am going to write uh, in the next step as as like this integral minus infinite plus infinite x of t into e to the power minus sigma t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. Right? This is a x of s. Right? So here the signal x of t is multiplied by exponential function e power minus sigma t. First point I am going to tell that. So here x of t is multiplied by is multiplied by multiplied by it is multiplied by e power minus sigma t this is the point and we know Fourier transform formula here in the first line we written Fourier transform formula so this is a Fourier transform formula ok so by the comparison of these two by the comparison, this is the Laplace 
transform from x of s. So, Laplace transform is equal to means x of s is equal to Fourier transform of x of t into e to the power minus sigma t. Right or not? The Laplace transform is obtained. How it is obtained? How the relation between Laplace transform and Fourier transform? So, Fourier transform of x of t into e power minus sigma t will give us Laplace transform of x of t. Laplace transform of x of t. Right? And uh, <coughs> similarly, inverse Laplace. So, we know inverse Fourier transform. Now, we are going to see inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace transform. So, we know that, we know that inverse Fourier transform, inverse Fourier transform, what is the inverse Fourier transform formula? Inverse Fourier transform, inverse Fourier transform is, so F inverse of capital X of J omega, J omega or omega is equal to small x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi and integral minus infinite to plus infinite capital X J omega e to the power J omega t d omega. Right? So, here also we are going to replace here j omega is going to replace j omega is going to replace by sigma plus j omega which is equal to complex variable s which is equal to complex variable s right uh, now i'm going to do differentiation of this sigma plus j omega right so ds is equal to by this ds is equal to sigma is the real part right so its uh, differentiation is 0 plus j into d omega j into d omega by this d omega will be 1 by j ds so this we have d omega is 1 by j ds and next thing limits lower and upper limits so here lower limit lower limit so what is the lower limit we have lower limit is s is equal to sigma plus j omega sigma plus j omega what is the j omega omega lower limit is minus infinity so s lower limit will become sigma minus j infinity and upper limit, if you see upper limit, what is S we have? Sigma plus J omega. S is sigma plus J omega. Now, upper limit of S will become sigma plus J infinity. So, all those things we are going to substitute in this integral. We are going to write in this integral. So, then what happens? Okay then f inverse of so in the place of j omega we are going to write sigma plus j omega so f inverse of sigma plus j omega is equal to x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi and the limits is from sigma minus j infinity to sigma plus j infinity here capital X of sigma plus j omega okay into e to the power this into e to the power sigma plus j omega t d omega just we are going to write sig j omega as sigma plus j omega so sigma plus j omega is equal to s therefore okay therefore x of t is equal to x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi 
here d omega what is the d omega 1 by j ds so and uh, integration limits uh, sigma minus j infinity sigma plus j infinity x of s into e to the power st ds by j by j i written outside so this formula is called inverse laplace transform this is called inverse laplace transform so we have laplace transform formula and inverse laplace transform formula from fourier transform formula and from inverse fourier transform formula just uh, j omega is replaced as sigma plus j omega that point will give us laplace transform and inverse laplace transform both we can get right now convergence of laplace transform very very important convergence of laplace transform laplace transform so we know laplace transform formula first we take that the definition of laplace transform laplace transform of x of t laplace transform of x of t is this is a way of representing laplace transform of x of t is equal to capital x of s is equal to integral minus infinite to plus infinite x of t into e to the power minus st dt so here s is a complex variable which is equal to sigma plus j omega it contains real part sigma is the real part and it is a imaginary part okay so combination of real and imaginary parts called complex variable now in the place of s i am going to take that in integral minus infinite plus infinite x of t into e to the power minus sigma plus j omega t dt now i am going to take the magnitude e power sigma uh, integral minus infinite plus infinite the magnitude of x of t into e power minus sigma t into e to the power minus j omega t dt right now this integral here we have <coughs> x of t e power minus sigma t e power minus j omega t so if you take e power minus j omega t magnitude how much value of e power minus j omega t it can be written as cos omega t plus sorry not plus minus because power in the power we have minus minus j sin omega t so magnitude what is the magnitude of cos minus j sin omega t under root of real part square imaginary part square you will get one so only remaining is integral minus infinite plus infinite mod x of t into e to the power minus sigma t e to the power minus sigma t dt should be less than infinity if this part is less than infinity this integral is less than infinity then we can say laplace transform converges laplace transform is converges okay if this integral is less than infinity so here one more point i want to say region of converges region of converges simply roc region of converges a convergence roc very very important definition roc what is roc it is roc so here we know if 
इंटीग्रल माइनस इंफानाइट प्लस इंफानाइट मॉड एक्स ऑफ टी ई पावर माइनस सिग्मा टी डी टी इज लेस देन इंफिनिटी सो फॉर वॉट वैल्यूज ऑफ सिग्मा फॉर वॉट वैल्यूज और रेंज ऑफ सिग्मा ओके फॉर वॉट वैल्यूज ऑफ सिग्मा और वॉट वॉट रेंज ऑफ सिग्मा सो दैट लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो दैट लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म कन्वर्जेस लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म कन्वर्जेस इज कॉल्ड ROC region of convergence or range region of converges so for what what values of sigma laplace transform converges is called ROC right or not how laplace transform converges converges of laplace transform means this integral should be less than infinity i have written in the first line here this is less than infinity so for what values of sigma this integral will become less than infinity that integral means laplace transform converges that range is called that sigma range that sigma values is called roc region of convergence region of convergence very very important point so we can discuss with example now let's take an example how to get roc so consider a continuous time signal x of t is equal to e power 2t e power 2t u of t okay so just we check for fourier transform check fourier transform what happens and in this example you can understand what is the use of laplace transform over fourier transform now the fourier transform is integral minus infinite plus infinite e to the power 2t u of t into e to the power j omega t dt just i am talking about fourier transform so here u of t is there it is available from 0 to infinity therefore limits will become 0 to infinity e power 2t into e power j omega t dt okay so this total integral value and will become infinity this integral value will become infinity means fourier transform is not applicable for this signal because we are getting answer infinite infinity so infinity answer means it is not suitable so fourier transform fourier transform not applicable this case of signal not applicable because the signal is not absolutely integrable we are getting integration result is infinite means not integrable so in the fourier transform we have integration and we are getting infinity not integrable so fourier transform not applicable now comes to laplace transform what happens in the laplace transform so in laplace transform now the laplace transform so how to write laplace transform x of s is equal to integral minus infinite plus infinite integral minus infinite plus infinite x of t into e to the power minus st dt right this is the laplace transform now take the signal given signal minus infinite plus infinite e power 2t u of t into e power minus st in the place of s we can write sigma plus j omega t dt so here we have u of t unit step signal it is available from 0 to infinity which is equal to 1 so because of that u of t the limits integration 0 to infinity integral limits are 0 to infinity 
so integral limits 0 to infinity e to the power 2t and e of t value is 1 therefore e power minus sigma t e power minus j omega t dt ok so now here if you take the condition what is the condition convergence of Laplace transform so Laplace transform convergence that is integral minus infinite plus infinite mod x of t e to the power minus sigma t dt this total value should be less than infinity so now we have what we have integral 0 to infinity in our uh, example e power 2t e to the power minus sigma t right this value dt so whether it become less than infinity or not and for what values of sigma it will become less than infinity that is called ROC so see here in the powers 0 to infinity e to the power uh, we can take common t common then 2 minus sigma dt right ok so this total integral is less than infinity if the total integral is less than infinity if sigma value here we have infinity plus infinity so we know that e power infinity is infinity e power minus infinity is 0 so we don't have any problem with e power minus infinity so think that e power minus infinity after substitution of limit so we should get e power minus infinity suppose if you get e power plus infinity infinity means not converges we have to think for converges and think for sigma value so here if sigma value is if sigma value is greater than 2 right or not here 2 minus sigma 2 minus sigma is greater than this is sorry 2 minus sigma is negative or uh, sigma value is greater than 2 2 minus sigma value is negative means minus because e power minus sigma is 0 so in the e power always think about minus infinity always think e power minus infinity for any problem we should have e power minus infinity then Laplace transform converges so here also same way I am thinking 2 minus sigma is less than infinity right means negative so 2 is less than sigma value 2 is less than sigma means sigma may be 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.5 so about 2 or sigma is greater than 2 so here sigma means real part of s so real part of s is greater than 2 then this total integral will become less than infinity that is a clarity ok so if real part of s is greater than 2 then this integral is converges ok and this is called ROC this uh, range is called ROC then after saying this ROC do the integration substitute the limits you get the answer so e power 2 sorry t 2 minus sigma by I am doing integration what we get 2 minus sigma ok and upper and lower limits are 0 to infinity 0 to infinity so here so this possibility means the signal is multiplied by e power minus sigma t therefore we have the integral answer less than infinity we get the integral answer less than infinity ok that option is available with Laplace transform and for what values of sigma the integral is less than infinity that is called ROC so in this example ROC is greater than 2 greater than 2 so that is a way of thinking ROC and doing 
problem. Now I will complete the problem. This this problem I will complete. So this is a way of thinking ROC. So here in original we have zero to infinity e power two t e power minus st dt minus st dt and here we can take common t right or minus t i am taking common then it will become s minus 2 dt so here already we discussed about this roc so roc how to do so here s minus 2 and minus is outside and we have upper limit to infinity so e power minus infinity means this s minus 2 value should be positive plus into minus 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 infinity so e power minus infinity is 0 so s minus 2 is greater than 0 that means real part of s is greater than 2 so same condition here okay this is called roc so after writing roc go for integration substitute limits and you get the answer so i am doing now integration e power minus t s minus 2 divided by minus of s minus 2 limits are 0 to infinite so upper limit e power minus infinity because s minus 2 already we said that positive right and minus lower limit is e power minus 0 divided by minus of s minus 2 so e power minus infinity is 0 minus 1 by minus of s minus 2 so it will become 1 by s plus 2 this is the answer x of s is equal to 1 by s plus 2 for the given example this is the laplace transform okay so for any problem this is the logic we should have always e power minus infinity which is equal to 0 okay like that we have to think roc okay friends so very easy simple this laplace transform and using laplace transform what we can do so we can find using laplace transform using laplace transform first we can convert we can convert differential equations differential or integral or both differentiation and integral we can convert differential or integral having both equations into simple algebraic equations this is a very very important point equations into simple algebraic equations simple algebraic equations means after laplace transform there is no integration there is no differentiation in the equation simple algebraic equations which we can solve easily algebraic equations we can solve easily and second point and we can find system function or transfer function system function or transfer function of transfer function we can do and we can also do impulse response h of t we can get or we can do impulse response and the third thing third point is we can find stability of the system stability of the system these are all usages or applications of laplace transform and fourth one we can find initial and final values we can find initial and 
final value final values of the signal what is the initial value of the signal final value of the signal we can get using laplace transform so these are the points about laplace transform okay so students please follow videos regularly watch videos regularly thank you thank you all